This recording is for the St. Ambrose University Interprofessional Health Clinic showing you how to use the iSalus software, which is the software program we use in the clinic. This first recording is about how to log on and do some essential setups. You should have gotten a username and a password uh, for one of the clinic directors or supervisors. Um, you'll also notice here's the URL up here. When you log on to the clinic computers and you use the password uh, health-clinic and that's also the username to get onto the computer itself there will be an icon right on the desktop if you click it it'll say office EMR it'll say iSalus click it and that will take you right to this URL so you come in here you're gonna type in your password and your username your company name is Ambrose all lowercase hit log on the first time you log on, it's going to take a few seconds to get everything lined up, but uh, it'll go to this screen right here. Let's look at the scheduler first. Now you'll notice you'll click iScheduler, and you will see that it goes your date. Okay, so we have no patient scheduled today. That's why the clinic's blank. Uh, we're only open on Monday and Tuesday as of this recording, so that's why um, again you won't see anything on this Friday because we're not open. Maybe if, when you are viewing this, maybe by that time we will be open on Friday, but that's not the case. I'm going to jump to October 2015 because I have some fake patients listed. So if I go to Tuesday, um, you'll see some things here. But let's first talk about how you want to set up your uh, calendar. So the first thing you want to do, you can click resource. And the resource, you'll see it has all the rooms listed that we use. Um, if you just wanted to see a certain room, you could click that and that's all you see. Okay, or click that and there's nobody listed there. But what you really want to do is think about groups. Okay, so you want to close down resource, go to groups, and we have location St. Ambrose. We've created two custom ones based on what you want to see. So let's say you're in the rehab clinic, click rehab clinic, and that'll bring up the rehab clinic. If you want to make this one your default, you want to right click it and use as default. If you are in the medical clinic on Mondays, you can click medical clinic. Now see, we don't have any medical clinic being held on Monday, so not, or on this Tuesday, the 6th, so nothing shows up. If I go to October 5th, though, you will see the schedules there because I have a acute care clinic set. But again, if I go back to rehab clinic on that Monday, I see nothing. So you have to have the right clinic chosen or the right custom schedule and be on the correct day to see anything. So again, set your default by right clicking, use as default. You will see that there are some patients scheduled. They are in a blue color when they're uh, scheduled. Um, when they get checked in, you can click them to check in or check out or cancel. As students at this point, you really don't need to worry about that, but just so you understand the color codes. And we can flip back and forth, and uh, these patients are green because they've already been checked in. Uh, that just indicates that the patients are there, but we could you know, go back like that, and they could be changed if we wanted to. Okay, so that's your calendar. That's the first thing you want to do in setting up your calendar. Now let's go to your I, I'm sorry, your EMR. This is where you're going to be doing your documentation. So this does take a moment to load up. As you see, it just defaults to the day that we're at. So let's go back to um, that October date. And I think we had some dates here. We'll pick the, the 20th. What you want to do is open up this where it says office schedule. Click this. Um, you can pick personnel. If you are in a certain room on that, so let's say you're in the rehab clinic and you're assigned lab one or room one, you can click like this and it'll bring in patients that are checked in at that date. So if that's the room you're in, you can see your patients who are checked in during the day. I'll show you a different way to get to patients. This isn't always the easiest thing to do. Um, but I want to show you some of the patient tabs over here. To set up your tabs, you have to have a patient selected. And these are two fake patients I'm showing. So we'll pick Mike Ambrose. I'll click him, and it'll pull in my information. In another video, I'll show you what all this stuff means and how it works. But what we're going to do, go over to Chart Tab. So what Chart Tabs is going to look like, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have everything displayed for you. Now, we don't need all this stuff in here. Um, what you can do is go into here, and you can right-click it, and you can pick... Uh, set up favorites. Now what I have set up for myself is history, assessment, exam, goals, vitals, and SOAP. That's all you really need uh, for the rehab clinic and if you're doing the uh, PA clinic or the medical clinic it might be even less um, at that point. But this is how you set it up. You hit save 
and then what you can do you can cut out some of the clutter right click and say display favorites now we have a lot less information listed so that's a quick and dirty about how to set up your ice schedule and your EMR um, that can be done very early on in the process uh, to make your schedule a little bit easier to, to understand and to read the other thing I'll point out to you is communication. So if you go up to communication, this is your email system that is within the EMR itself. So what should not be happening, you should not be using your personal email or your SAU email to send any information about um, a patient or something going on in the clinic to protect HIPAA rights. But what we can do, if I, if you uh, have a question about a patient, I can, I can come in here and I can pick someone to send it to. And let's say I want to send it to uh, Kath Lukowski and I want to check her and said, okay, I can type a message. Um, please be sure to cancel Mr. Ambrose's appointment on the 23rd. And what I can do, I can send that to her and it's a safe communication. I can use patients' names. The other thing I can do, actually, I can actually attach a chart to this. So if there's a chart number and 999. Um, that's not really a real chart number, but I can find it this way. Otherwise, I can do a patient search like this and again do Ambrose as our fake patient. I can go like this, double click it, it's attached. And uh, there we go. So now I have the message, the chart's attached, number there, and I can have those open communications about patients in a safe um, platform uh, protecting the patient's rights and not having to worry about that. So this is your quick overview of how to set things up and some of the basic things. We're going to show another video about actually how to take notes and how to work through that.